Hello, hello, hello. Hello to all my beautiful loved ones. All my beautiful brothers and sisters all over the world. That includes you and you and you. How are you today? This is your boy, the writer, G.A. Wilson, coming live and direct for Love Fact. You know me, how I get down. Baby, I go in all the time. Watch this. I'm about to get it. Yeah. Imagination. Imagine. Can you remember a time when you were a child? And all that you can do is just imagine. Imagine every little thing in your mind. For as imagine driving a car. Imagine flying. Imagine building a playhouse. Or imagine, you know, your favorite, being your favorite a cartoon character. Imagine just about anything upon your mind you can imagine or oh, just make it up things. And sometimes, all times, kids always imagine having an imaginary friend. But as you got older, your parents begin to wonder why you continue imagine stories. And they say to you, boy or girl, why can you just grow up and stop just imagining things? Grow up. Learn to be older. And that's the number one no-no that you should not tell a child to stop imagining things. Of making up stories, have an imaginary friend, just enjoy life from a different perspective. Because as you get older, you begin to just do the grown up thing that's taking care of responsibility, and you forget about the fun. Imagination is part of having fun, and imagination is part of, of building your future. Yes, it is. Imagination is part of building your future because you can have anything in it, but you got to imagine it first. And that's the number one thing that, that you're supposed to have in your life. That you're supposed to get in life, you're supposed to be in life, that you're supposed to love in life. By imagination. Let me tell you something. Before I begin to write a book, I first imagine. Let me, let me break it down to you what, how everything have got created. Um, back back then, like in, I guess, believe it was 2006, I was listening to a good author, novelist by the name of Eric Jerome Dickey, whose writing, whose stories, whose words that was so touching and so inspired by. It was just incredible writing. And his book, uh, named Cheaters, at the end of it, from the audiobook of Cheaters, he had a one on one interview. At the end of the, at the end of the audiobook of Cheaters, saying how he had got himself established, how he had got himself together, and how he continued picking himself up for over a year of many rejections he had got from many major publishing companies. And I can remember listening to it at least by seven or eight times. And every time I had listened to it, I always said to myself, I can do this. I believe that I can do this. 
And I can tell you, yes, those magic words did help me to get myself together. Not to say that that I had everything together the, the, the next following day. No, it took time to get everything together, to get the story together, the characters together, and all in all together, a 200-page book. But slowly but surely, I had got it all together. And it all was because I imagined that I can do this. That I can be this. That I can live this. That I can put a story together that makes sense. And now I'm beyond of getting of getting my story, my book together, and beginning to have reader lovers to enjoy what I have written. And it all became from imagining. And this is the number one thing that parents should not tell their kids to stop imagining things. Because when you stop imagining things, it put a hold on what you want to be in life. It put a hole that you gonna live an average life and just do what average people do. No, you were born to be extraordinary. You were born to be different. You were born to be the God's gift that God had given to you and spread it on to the world and beyond. Imagination is what holds the glue to where you want to be in life. Let me break it down and tell you what Ronald Barnes say in the book, The Power of About Imaginations. This is coming from page 63. Ronald Barnes say, If you want to lose weight, then give love by imagining filling yourself with the body you love. Instead of imagining the feeling that you're overweight every single day. If you want to travel, then give love by imagining and feeling yourself traveling. Instead of imagining every day that you don't have the money to travel. If you want to improve yourself in a sport, acting, singing, playing a musical instrument, hobby, or in your job, then give love for what you want to be by imagining and feeling whatever it is. You want to be, would love to do. If you want a better marriage or a better relationship with anybody, then give love by imagining and feeling what it would be like to have that relationship. You see, imagination will get you anywhere and everywhere you want to be in life. And as a kid, imagination is so powerful. And parents to see their imagination can get you that job. Imagination can get you that house. Imagination can get you that wife, that husband, that boyfriend, that, that girlfriend. Imagination can get you anything and everything you want. So parents, it is good that you continue allowing your kids to continue imagining because imagination can get you here and beyond to another galaxy, to another moon and Mars. It could. Yes, it can. And as always, I thank you, loved ones, for always tuning in and listening to what I have to say. And I believe that I help you the best way I can. Have a good day. And have a beautiful night. Take care of yourself. Continue imagining. Continue striving. When you fall, you get yourself back up. Don't listen to what they say. Always, as I say, listen to your heart. Always. You can do this. Don't give up. Keep a smile on your face. I believe in you. And you should also believe in yourself. Take care of yourself. Peace, blessing, and love. Mm-hmm. Yeah.